Hi, this is Halal. In this video on graphing in economical series, we have a situational question, the effect of lump sum subsidy in perfect competition. The question is, uh, use side-by-side -side graphs, draw a market and firm for a perfectly competitive industry in the long run. Show the effect of a lump sum subsidy on the firm in the short run. Share any profit or loss, mark old and new, price and quantity for firm. So we have to see the effect of lump sum subsidy in a perfect competitive market. So the first step is we draw the two graphs. The first graph is for the market and another one is for the firm. So first step is we mark the quantity axis here. Also this is our price axis. Similarly here this is quantity axis. This is the price axis. Now we take the usual demand and supply, our uh, demand curve which is downward sloped and this is our supply curve. This is the first step in solving this situation. So this is our demand and this is our supply curve. After that what will we do? We mark the equilibrium quantity. Let this be the uh, equilibrium quantity and this is the equilibrium price for the market that is equilibrium price this is the first step the second step is we link this equilibrium price in the market graph to the firm so this uh, comes out to be here and form a situation where where marginal this uh, will be marginal revenue is equal to demand which is equal to average revenue which is equal to price so we for we link the market market price with the firmness graph to create a situation where marginal revenue is equal to demand which is equal to average revenue which is equal to price so this is our marginal revenue curve for the for the firm so we link this price and form a horizontal straight line which is here also the marginal revenue or average revenue because we are the question is on the perfect competition marginal revenue will be the constant and average revenue is also constant that is equal to the price so this was our next step to link this market price with this graph uh, of the individual firm after that uh, we draw the usual marginal cost uh, marginal cost uh, curve that looks like this this is the marginal cost curve and with this we link the average total cost now here one thing is to be remembered since we are dealing in the long run uh, the question is uh, saying us about the long run equilibrium so this will be tangent to the and this will be tangent to this marginal revenue curve so this is our average total cost this is our marginal this is our marginal cost why they are tangent why this average total cost is tangent to the marginal uh, revenue this is because firms break even in long run so the situation is of the longer than equilibrium so firms break even that is why this average total cost is tangent to this marginal uh, revenue or or it touches the marginal cost at where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost now we have to see the effect of lump sum subsidy on the firm now if government gives the firm the lump sum subsidy it will only lower the average total cost so if government gives the lump sum subsidy this average total cost will lower that is lump sum uh, this lump sum uh, subsidy lowers the fixed cost and it does uh, it does not have any effect on the marginal cost that is 
because the government is giving the lump sum subsidy only the average total cost will go down and the marginal cost will remain same because lump sum uh, subsidy only lowers the fixed costs since this average total cost is composed of fixed costs also it, uh, therefore this average total cost will go down and our so here i uh, will depict that this will be our uh, profit maximizing quantity for the firm so i will write here this is q f so uh, the lump sum subsidy will not change any uh, any profit maximizing quantity of the firm because lump sum subsidy only lowers the fixed cost and doesn't lower any marginal cost so this average total cost will go down so i will show this situation so we take this down this will look like so this is our new atc so i will atc complement now the question was to see if there is any shared in uh, any um, profit or loss now as a result of decrease in atc firm earn economic profit so the firms earn here the economic profit that is gap between the average uh, total cost the new and the situation of mr and uh, this uh, where marginal revenue is equal to average revenue and which is equal to the price so uh, the new equilibrium will be sorry uh, this box where this average total cost the gap between uh, this point and this point will depict the economic profit for the firm so this is our economic profit which results from the lump sum subsidy given by government to the firm so one thing is to be remembered here lump sum subsidy has no effect on the marginal cost lump sum subsidy only lowers the fixed cost here this atc is composed of average variable cost and average fixed cost and since the average fi uh, fixed cost goes down uh, is lowered by the lump sum subsidy that means our new atc will be lower than this uh, this line that is marginal revenue or price line now the economic uh, profit is composed of uh, this box which is uh, which is at the point where marginal cost and marginal revenue is intersect and we draw uh, a line the gap between this average total cost new and the marginal revenue and marginal cost condition gives us the economic profit so we shared in this so this um, marginal uh, they, uh, this equilibrium pri uh, equilibrium quantity for the firm does not change so this remains same i hope you enjoy the video thank you